morning, good morning. My name is Moses. I'm a property investor and I'm also a civil engineer. And I'm just going to shoot this quick video this morning just because we posted this simple HMO calculation on our Instagram some few weeks back. And we've been receiving quite a lot of messages, private messages. Thank you for those messages. Keep them coming. And uh, people have been asking a lot of questions about how do you calculate your cash flow? How do you work out your more? How do you work out your management fee? And uh, what I'll just be doing now, rather than replying to people private messages, I just think it's better for me to just do this quick video to break down the calculation. The numbers are real. They're not numbers that we pull from somewhere. They're actually a real number. What I'll just be doing now, dive in now and work out the number. And uh, the first thing we need to consider, how do we get our rent? I'll give you a quick background. This is the property that we bought some few years back. And it's just a simple three bedroom mid terrace house. And uh, we convert it to four bedroom HMO. Three in this HMO, we've got three double bedrooms and one single bedroom. And I'm just going to dive in, calculate the rent, work out the mortgage, work out the mall, and work out the management fee. Then that will give us our cash flow. Let's get in. So, rent for this particular property, our rent. is the ensuite out of the three doubles we've got one we which is a, a suite bedroom with that we command more rent which is 120 per week we're getting for that a suite room which is 120 multiplied by 4.33 the reason why we're using 4.33 is because some month we have more than four weeks so on average in a year it work out to be 4.33. So 120 multiplied by 4.33 for the suite plus for the two other doubles that we shared bathroom, we get we're getting 110 per week, which is 110 multiplied by 4.33 multiplied by 2. And the last one is 85 pounds that we're getting for the single bedroom plus 85 pounds multiplied by 4.33. So if you work that out, our rent give us 1,840 pounds, 25 pence. 1,840 pounds, 25 pence. And uh, the next thing we need to consider is our mortgage. For this particular mortgage, what we're paying is 4% of 75% loan to value. So this particular property was valued for 110. So the bank loaned us 75% of 110,000 pounds, which is 82,500. 4% interest rate and we're paying interest only. The interest only, which is 4% of 82,500, that works out to be 275 pounds per calendar month. So I'm going to use my red pen because that means that is going out of our rent. So my mortgage, which is month, that is 275 pounds. And I'll put minus. Remember, the property was valued 110 and 4% interest rate of 110, 75% loan to value of 110, which is 4% of 82,500. That is 275. If you want me to work out or do a quick calculation on how we work out the 275 based on loan to value of that particular property please comment let me know I'll, I'll be glad to just do a quick calculation of that and one other thing we need to consider now is our monthly expenses that 
our um, our um, monthly expenses like gas, council tax, TV license because that is inclusive in our rent. So we work out that is going out as well in our rent. We use red pen, which is our monthly operating expenses minus for this for this particular property we will consider 20 percent just to cover all the expenses um, and the 20 percent of that is 368 pounds five pen 368 pounds uh five pence so is 368 pounds five pen that is 20 percent of our rent i will put 20 percent and this one is four percent of one um four four percent of eighty two thousand five hundred yeah and the next thing we need to consider now is our management fee our management fee is ten percent of our rent management fee is the letting agent fee which is 10 percent of our rent so mf that will be minus as well because it's going out of our it will be going out of our rent will be 10 percent of 1840.25 pen which is 184.25 that is 10 percent of our rent so that's go back that's 10 percent and that one to go back that's 20 percent just to break it down so now now we have our cash flow from our rent we take our mortgage take our monthly expenses and take our management fee so if you take out now if you take out 275 pounds which is our mortgage our 368 pounds fat pen which is our monthly expenses and our 184 pounds 25 pen which is our management fee that gives us our cash flow of 1012 and 95 1012 and 95 pence in pounds and that's how we work out the cash flow so guys you can see now the number they are real the figure are real it's not something that we just pull from somewhere that's just for a single property how many of this cash flow do you need to be financially free let me know how many you need one two three four i don't know six there's a lot of opportunity out there this is just for four bedroom hmo for six bedroom you can actually command more than this double of this so thank you guys on um, my next video whatever you want me to do a quick calculation on let me know but thank you thank you for watching and if you like click like Please share and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and God bless. Bye bye. Thank you.